and through the blood of Jesus, my sins, I confess my sin and take the blood upon me and ask God to forgive my sins. Number two, I think of what are the ways through which the enemy attacks me and I take the blood upon me and cast away the enemy from my life, the evil from my life. Number three, what are the things I need to do in my life? I take the blood upon me and ask the blood of the Lamb to intercede for me. Maybe the aspect of intercede I will take a little more deeper. Next. Fourth, through the blood of Jesus, I take upon me and I say, Lord, here I am. I died to myself and I surrender to your will. I am here for you. Let your will be done in my life. Like Jesus shedding the blood on the cross, and not only on the cross, even in the garden of Gethsemane, in the number one, he says, take away this chalice from me. But when the blood, sweat becomes his blood, he changes his language. He says, not my will, let your will be done. So all of us, we want to do, Lord, do this for me, do that for me. But when I take the blood upon me, I die to myself and say, Lord, let your will be done. I surrender. So that's what the blood of the Lamb. So the helmet of salvation means I take the helmet upon me. Number one, I recognize who am I in the Lord. Number two, helmet of salvation means I realize how the sin comes and attacks me. And through sin, what are the things I have lost in my life? Number three, helmet of salvation means I take the blood of the cross and through the blood, four things, I bring salvation to myself. Then, helmet of salvation means fourth, after being cleansed with the blood, I receive his spirit through his word. I surrender, invite the Holy Spirit into my life, into my heart. Number five, I make a covenant with the God. With the blood of Jesus, I make a covenant. Abraham made a covenant with the God that from now on, I will follow you. God made a covenant with Moses and Ezekiel. From now on, I will be your God and you will be my people. And on the cross and on the Last Supper, Jesus made the covenant. Take this blood. This is covenant, new covenant I make that I love you as the Father loves me. I love you and I will continue to love you in the same way you too remain with me as I am with you and love me and love the people whom I have given to you. A new covenant of love where I love God and I love whatever my God has given to me. Maybe suddenly something is taken away from me. But still I say, okay, this is the way God has wanted me. Okay, he has a purpose. I do his will. Joyfully. I am dead to myself as St. Paul says in First Corinthians chapter 5 verse 14. He says, the love of God compels me. The love of God forces me, crushes me. To do, I become nothing and I do only the will of God. So these are all so many things called the helmet of salvation. So for the enemy not to put his thought upon me, what I need to do every day, every morning, every time whenever I am disturbed, I put on that helmet. I enter into the salvation which Jesus has brought to me through these five stages and then I make a covenant with God. I make a commitment to God and I move with God. Then you can overcome the enemy. Before you go to sleep, take the helmet of salvation. Before you start any work, take the helmet of salvation. Yes. It is that which will protect us. When St. Paul speaks about the instruments of protection, nothing is given on the back. To wear on the back is given the shield of faith, uh, shoe of 
the this one spirit uh, sword of the spirit all that is there but back it is not that why one day as i was praying lord why the lord said if you turn back the, you will be caught by the enemy if you turn back you will be caught by the enemy so you have to go always wearing what god has given to you and fight till the end we read in the book of genesis chapter 4 verse 8 in genesis chapter 4 verse 6 and verse where god talks to cain why your face has become sad and broken huh? if you do well if you do well will you not be accepted will you not be accepted and if you do not do well and if you do not do well sin is lurking at the door my son if you know the telugu bible exactly telugu catholic bible it is written nu manji chesav ante nu tala yettukoni jeevistav same thing is written in tamil also nee talai nimirndu nada kalaikapattavan nee ellame nalla irunchuna nee talai nimirndu nadapai yes we are called to walk straight but because of sin the enemy is coming and sleeping at your door be careful my son god warned him but cain cain did not listen he allowed the enemy to enter into him and whereby whereby the enemy took hold of him the enemy took hold of him and made him to kill his own brother and once he is killed god said in chapter 4 verse 8 cain where are you where is your brother he said ah i don't know once you fall in sin the enemy the world will make you to be smart but to in front of whom you try to be smart in front of god almighty that's the enemy will do that you can escape you can handle yourself you can live by yourself you can escape maybe say one lie for that another say a few more lies somewhat try to escape only god can help us to face life to face the challenges to face sin to face the enemy without god you will only try to run away from god you will try to cover up yourself you will try to find excuses you will not live you know to your inner self you are saying lie and that itself will take away your energy that will take away your life so now god is coming and saying the blood of your brother he is speaking justice crying for justice blood speaks not only that the you shed the blood of your brother and when the blood of sin fell on the ground the ground has opened itself and who is down the hell fire and the evil spirits in the hell fire they have come out and they caught hold of you you are killing your brother you are shedding the blood and the blood has opened the grave opened the ground and the evil spirits from the ground they have come up they have got hold of you and they will not allow you until they make you to be killed someone will kill you the curse has fallen upon you in your field you are having the vegetables fruits from now on the cursed land will give you only thorns and thistles the power of blood blood that you shed upon close your eyes for a minute place your hands over your heart do you know the meaning of the sin the blood what does the blood tell you the blood we as we know it does four thing for us it forgives our sins number 2 it cleanses us and second it fights for us 
third it speaks for us fourth it enables us to lose ourselves and to surrender ourselves to him fifth the blood of jesus makes us to make covenant with god on the other hand when the enemy makes us to shed the blood and the blood begins to begins to speak what does it speak justice do justice yes god is not only god of mercy when we have done something wrong and the others who are affected people cry to god god has to do justice and the, you have to bear the curse upon us on the other hand we read in the book of hebrew chapter 12 verse 24 the blood of jesus speaks for us the blood of jesus speaks for us every day when we wear the blood of jesus upon us wherever we go it will be speaking to god it will be speaking to the enemy get away from me this child is mine don't dare to come near 